Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be talking about how we can use MATLAB to fit custom functions to data plots if we wanted to define our own unique trend lines and determine what the best fitting parameters of those trend lines are. And so what I'm gonna be doing in this video is finding what are the best fitting parameters to a first order exponential decay curve with a non-zero baseline. And the reason I need to do this in the first place is because while MATLAB does have an exponential uh, fitting function in their fit function, unfortunately it doesn't include that non-zero baseline, so I need to include that value. And so essentially I need to create my own fitting function. And so what I've done in these first few lines of code is define a vector x, um, and I'm introducing some noise into this using the rand function. And what we'll find is when we run this code, we're going to get something that loosely resembles a first order exponential decay curve and its baseline is about plus four. And so the first thing you're going to do is make use of uh, another function. You're going to define a new function in MATLAB and we're going to call um, one of MATLAB's built in functions called uh, fmin search. And so to do that, we're going to create a new function inside of our working directory. And inside of here, I will call this function fit fun. And if we open up the fit fun, um, what I like to do, and this is entirely up to you, but I will usually have my fitting function return a vector called P. You can call it whatever you want. P will contain the fitting parameters that uh, are returned that have the best fit of the function. And the inputs to this will be the actual plot that we want to fit the curve to, as well as an initial guess that I denote IG. And then you, of course, following best practices would put in a summary and detailed explanation of what your function is supposed to do. Um, in this case, we're going to be fitting a first order exponential decay with a non-zero baseline. Um, but what I'm going to do is, uh, so I'm going to erase this and we're just going to work through this example so you can apply this to your own projects. Um, I'm first going to extract the X component of the DF uh, matrix and that will exist in the first column. So I will do this uh, and you can fast, feel free to fast forward ahead if you want to see what the uh, code is. I'll probably upload this as well but um, just so you can follow along with what I'm doing in this example, we're essentially storing the X and Y components. And this is the trick um, to this whole thing, which is we're going to be nesting a function inside of our fit fun. Um, and so uh, this function will return a uh, vector uh, DS and it will be called fit. And fit will take in an initial guess value and that will be the end of this function. And the initial guess will be composed of four parameters. These, so these are initial four parameters that the function will guess. And so um, it's really just a matter of copying and pasting a lot of this stuff, um, which can get a little bit boring, but I'll try to speed through it. And this will be the second element, the third, sorry and the fourth element. And so this is where we're actually gonna define the custom function that we want MATLAB to determine for our code. And so I'm gonna define a new function or variable f, and this will be um, a value of a dot times, because we're doing an element by element multiplication, and we're going to be fitting an exponential to this. So uh, we're gonna be multiplying it by the following components. And uh, finally, we're going to define a value ds to actually return. And this ds value will be the difference um, between the actual guest function and the uh, real value that we're trying to find the fitting parameters for. And so essentially, we're just looking at the absolute value of every distance for the points that it's uh, creating. And then we're going to finally say that ds gets the sum of all of our uh, ds terms. And now that we've done that, all we need to do in the outer function is define what 
uh, the fitted parameters were that had the best fit. So uh, p gets f min search. We're going to have a pointer to our nested function as well as the initial guess. And now that you've done this, we have fully defined our uh, fit function and our custom uh, function that we want to fit to our data. Now we're going to go back into main and we're going to um, go here. The next step will be to uh, actually run the code. So we're going to say p gets fit fun df, which is the vector containing x and y, as well as our initial guess ig. And we're going to store the fitted parameters that the function has returned back to us. I'm going to essentially copy and paste these. And uh, now I will define a fitted y function. And this will be equivalent to a dot times exponent b dot times x plus c plus d. And finally, we're going to plot uh, what our results look like and how good of a job we did of fitting the lines. So we've got x, y, x, and y fit. And so now if we run this code, I'm um, sorry, first uh, we need to supply an initial guess to our uh, custom fit function. And to do this, um, we can seed it with a simple ones only vector. Uh, so we'll, because we have four fitted parameters, um, it'll be a one by four. And so now we've done that. Uh, if we run this code, um, I need to actually spell ones completely, sorry. If we run this code again, um, we do get warnings in MATLAB um, because it does guess many times. But what we find from our original data set is we had this exponential decay curve and MATLAB did a pretty good job with the limited number of iterations that it had of fitting our custom function to this curve. And so um, if we look at the workspace in MATLAB, what we're going to make a note of is how um, close our values should be, or relatively close they should be to um, the actual data set, but we did include the um, noise in it. So uh, this uh, is a brief introduction to how we can begin to define our own custom fit functions to MATLAB. Um, I'll upload this code in case you guys want to take a look through it. Thanks for watching and let me know if you have any questions.